Hello Ranger Point Precision friends and family, Pat here with another quick tech tip. This tech tip is going to be about our accessory panel. Now if you'll notice this accessory panel, we have taken advantage of the QD socket for a sling and we've also taken advantage of the M-lock for a six round quiver. So to get there, what we're going to have to do is look at our stock. Now if you're right handed, you are probably going to want to put your accessory panel on this side, that way this is facing outward and you're not having your accessory stuck in your cheek. Being the fact that this was designed by a lefty, it is ambidextrous. So we have a corresponding slot here on the other side. That way you lefties can be able to put your accessories on there without having that one shoved, stuck inside your cheek. So now how do we get to this point? Well, this right here is our accessory panel. This is skew panel, very simple. So let's go ahead and look at this. We have got all of our included hardware and tools to install this right here in the plastic bag. Now, once we get our panel out, we're going to notice there are two sides to this panel. One side is flat and the other side is kind of concave. This right here is for two reasons. It is so that our M-lock is in spec, it is so our QDs are in spec, and it saves just a little bit of weight. So like I said, this right here, the flat part, is what will face outward. I just recently saw some really nice photos of a rifle, had our stuff on it, and it was backwards. So this right here is the part facing you. So we're going to set this up. I'm right-handed, so I am going to choose this side. This side is going to be the side facing your ejection port on most rifles. Now I know on your Winchester 94, it would wind up being your loading gate side and your Rossi 92 slash LevTac, it would be on your loading gate side as well. So now what I have done is I have just taken the three included screws, those machine screws right there, and just started them in by finger. That way we're not cross-threaded. Didn't need any Loctite or anything like that. Matter of fact, this rifle right here is probably one of the highest mileage Highest round count 4570s in the country. There may be somebody out there outdoing me, but I doubt it. So let's just take our included Allen key. Go ahead and cinch that up. Take our included Allen key. Cinch that up. And rinse, repeat. So simple. So now we've done the quick screw down. So we're going to actually go to where we can get some leverage here. Insert our Allen key, give her a little tweak. And it really doesn't take much. These things home run and there they go. Boom. Now we have got an accessory panel on here and it is ready to take advantage of your M-Lock accessories and your QD for a sling. Hope you guys enjoyed this tech tip. We'll see you next time.